altar boy. I used to uh, serve mass and, um, with a priest, and I used to be in awe of uh, sacred paintings. And I always had uh, this great liking for religious art, but never would I have suspected that I would uh, end up uh, painting uh, a need to be sane. And you know, to hear that people praying in front of it uh, is just a brand new experience to me. Um, I pray sometime in front of paintings still now. And I, uh, I, I select the paintings I, I want to pray in front of, you know, the, from uh, Titians in uh, at Santa Maria da Salute in Venice to dear, the dearest in the uh, Cathedral of Cologne. Holy Father, as a mark of our deep love and appreciation, we wish to present to you this painting of Mary MacKillop. The Sister of St. Joseph's commissioned this religious work. The record I had was uh, a sepia, a small sepia photograph. And from this, I tried to um, achieve a frontal view of a person. The remainder of the painting is intuitive. Um, I did imagine Sister uh, Mary as a young lady. Most viewers have welcomed the painting and have accepted my version of Sister Mary. And uh, I think, uh, I mean, in a way, the spirit of Sister Mary McKillop has been with me um, because uh, the painting even convinced myself. It convinced me. Uh, I'm pretty confident that that is the way Sister Mary did look. Um, Nobody will be able to disprove me, but um, I don't know, I just have a feeling, uh, a spiritual uh, emotion that tells me that uh, I have been on the right track. As I was painting Sister Mary, I felt I was in a surreal time warp. I was like a mushroom in the dark, fed on abstractions by uh, an elusive spirit. I never was uh, really very, very confident uh, at the beginning, but uh, it improved. I painted this uh, painting over a period of time, um, and uh, must have worked hard. And when you work hard, I think something happens. Um, you get some help from somewhere. helps those who help themselves. I have uh, this feeling that the more I work, the more magic I achieve. And the uh, uh, magic is put there by someone as a reward. And I'd like you to reflect on the fact that there's never been a, a lazy genius. Uh, all the genii are hyperactive. I'm not saying that I'm one. Conversely, I don't think that any la lazy person is a potential genius. But that being as I may, as it may, I'm really staggered uh, at the way the painting of Samaria has been received. Um, Ted Ryan was uh, telling us before about these people, uh, you know, wanting to touch the painting and, uh, and uh, crying in front of the painting. have the Holy Father bless and receive my painting of uh, Sister Mary MacKillop will be indeed by far the most rewarding spiritual experience of my life. And um, to have the maximum honor of hanging in the Vatican collection and hanging in pretty good company of virtually every master in the history of art is the highlight of my professional life. I have to thank God for having given me this opportunity, so rare, so unique, and uh, maybe so undeserved. And uh, I would like to also thank 
the sisters of St. Joseph for their trust in my ability. They'll probably never know what risk they took. Uh, my wife, Krista, was sometimes interpreting for me the messages of uh, the spirit of uh, Sister Mary McKillop. Mr. Chris May, Mr. Ted Ryan for putting this show together and making it available to the people of Australia. Uh, to all the members of the village staff involved in this exhibition. To the Lord Mayor of Albury, Mr. James Patterson, and all the people of uh, Albury and other places who have come in, in such numbers to see this humble exhibition and uh, to honour the memory of uh, Sister Mary McKillop. Thank you very much.